Happy Monday, YouTube. This is Ryan Knows Tech here with techinform.us, and uh, today's video is about TweetDeck. We're going to take a look through the application. This is a request. Um, see what it does, see how it does it. Uh, I've been using TweetDeck for a while, probably since I got the Mac. I think that was the first uh, client I tried for Twitter. I have obviously used the web version. I like the web version, but it's a pain because you've got to go to a browser. And it is an application, so that involves a lot of navigating around. Whereas uh, with TweetDeck, it's all kind of in one area. Um, other clients I've used, they're nice too, but once you get used to one, you really don't leave. I mean, there's not like there's a massive difference between Windows NT and Windows 7. Um, a big difference between them. But before we get to that, I'd like to... You guys know me. I don't do shout outs very often. But a uh, good friend of mine, Joe the Techie, uh, he's been writing for us on Tech Inform for a while. Really good posts. Great guy. Talked to him a little bit online yesterday. Made his channel background. A um, couple things. He's helped me with some stuff. I think I've helped him with a little bit of stuff too. And uh, it's it's been good. So I think you should check out his channel. You know, he's got 79 uploads, I think in uh, just a few months since starting this. He's got a nice iMac uh, actually in service right now. He should have that back soon. Um, lots of stuff with games, apps, iPhone stuff. He's, uh, he's done a couple intros. He's good with uh, really good with intros and Blender. Um, Apple stuff, of course, a little bit of PC stuff in there too. Unboxings. Um, really good quality too. I was really surprised for, for somebody. Usually uh, somebody with 79 subscribers, that's usually uh, you don't see high quality videos, but these are um, just as good, if not better, than mine. So, uh, pretty good video work here, I think. So, uh, I, of course, the link's down below. Be sure to check them out. Subscribe, as them as a friend. You know, if you, if you don't like the videos, then don't. I mean, same thing with me. If you don't like my videos, then leave. But if you do, hi, thank you, and uh, go. I'm pointing you in, in his direction. I think he's uh, got you in good hands as far as videos. Uh, so, let's uh, take a look at TweetDeck here without further ado. This is pretty much the spread. Now, we're in 1080p right now. If you shrink this down on all scales, it looks right. On, on the MacBook Pro screen, just 1280 by 800, for example. But it's pretty simple. Everything that you need is right here. Um, let's start at the top. Up here, you've got these three buttons next to TweetDeck and the version. This uh, should be the latest version. That's so small, I can hardly read it. Version 0 0.35.3. So I'm pretty sure that's the latest version. Um, to the right of that, this is your Compose Update. For some reason, I don't know if it's default, you don't have the box there to, to write your, your tweets. So just click that if it isn't there. Once you click that and you quit it and you relaunch it, it's still there. So that's nice and easy. The plus is going to add a column. And with TweetDeck, everything you have here is in columns. Notice I have um, all friends for my James R. Schultz account. That's going to see uh, show me every tweet there is. It'll go back 100. If I want it, to, I can change it and have it go back 200, 400, however uh, far I want, I believe. And then there's mentions, of course, at James R. Schultz. I get to read all of those there. Moving over to the right, there's my second, my third column, um, first column for the Tech Inform account. A lot of you guys don't know, twitter.com slash techinformus. I'll try to put that link down below. Um, that's the business Twitter, so please follow that if you'd like some updates, stuff like that. Um, and definitely some news on our future event, which I'm not supposed to talk about yet. And then next, uh, something I actually just added a few minutes ago for the purpose of the review is, is trending worldwide. Um, we'll get into the settings in a minute, but you can add all kinds of tabs here. Um, columns, I guess, and put pretty much anything you want in there. You can have it look at your new followers and see their tweets. Lots of cool stuff with that. And then, of course, the mentions tab for the, um, the Tech Inform account, which we haven't been using much. Um, so anyways, that's what your column is going to do. We'll go ahead and click on that. I'll show you some of the things you can do. Um, you can use different accounts with this. I should mention that. You've got Twitter, Facebook, MySpace. It uh, looks like a Google account. I don't even know what that is. Um, Foursquare. Never heard of that. And I've never heard of like, like in sounds German. I don't know. So uh, go over to Core. That's where you're going to find your friends, your mentions. You can put direct messages in there. I don't really use those that often, but I get emails. So uh, if I ever started to use that, I could just put that in there. Favorites, trending topics, new followers, um, tweet deck recommendations, stocks, scheduled updates. You can customize that however you like. And then, you, of course, you can adjust which account that filters into. Uh, I think you can have as many accounts to this as you need uh, hooked up. Anyways, back up to the top. So this is where you can write write your post. So grab my keyboard here and I'll write a little post. Uh, writing a sample post for the TweetDeck review on YouTube. Enter. 
Now that's gonna uh, post on the James R. Schultz account since that's what I have selected. Notice that's in blue. If I click that one, it'll select both so I could do uh, a both both accounts. And then of course, uncheck mine. There's just the Tech Inform account. Um, uncheck that again. And then you can add more accounts. If you have multiple Twitters you wanna work with, you can go ahead and add in some more accounts here. And then of course, change your default. Um, Pretty straightforward. You don't have text editing, of course, with Twitter. Uh, it's still limited to 140 characters. You can also have it auto shorten URLs. For example, if I type in http colon forward slash forward slash www.techinform.us and hit enter, it's going to go like that. If I hit space, it's going to take a minute and bit.ly or li, whatever, is going to shorten it. Save some characters. Nice way to do that. You can also turn that off if you didn't want it for some reason. Next thing, uh, tweet shrink. Uh, I'm gonna guess that I don't really know. Okay, I clicked it a little bit ago. It's new in this version, and it said there's a problem with it. So maybe I'll put an annotation in if I can figure out what that is and it gets back up working. Translate, that's really cool. If you wanna be able to translate it to a different language, somebody else can read it, um, definitely useful. And then you can see recent hashtags, again, useful. You have a send button over here, and then uh, you can schedule the update, which is cool, very cool, actually. I don't know of any other applications to do that, but then again, I haven't really played with them all that much. So scheduling updates for tweets may seem stupid, but in the right time can be very useful. Back up to the top, you can manually refresh it or adjust how often it refreshes. Mine goes every few minutes. Single column view, if you're trying to save space on your desktop, you don't wanna scale them all, you can just do a single column. There's your settings, we'll take a further look at that in just a minute. And right here, you can launch the support. I've never had any problems with it, aside, well, you know, Twitter's been down a few times over capacity, but no tweet deck problems. And then there's your log out. If you're gonna leave the computer, you can log out. So as promised, take a look at settings here. There's tons of settings. We can change the font, the colors. Um, pretty much anything you would ever need to edit is in here. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing uh, for time, and you'd probably get really bored because there's a crap load of check boxes here. Um, but you do get growl-like notifications. For example, if somebody retweets something, you'll get a thing, you can adjust where it is, you can adjust the sound it plays, how loud it is. Uh, mine's in the top right corner of the screen, it's just a little black box, transparency. Profile picture, their tweet, I can reply to it from there, which is cool. I can retweet it from there. All the uh, stuff that's down here in the bottom left where my cursor is uh, right now, but we'll be looking at that in a minute. You can also do that uh, without having to get into the application. Uh, actually, there is something right there. I think that is uh, know your tech stuff and no NY, N Y T S no Y T S. Okay, uh, just sent me something, so I can click that. I can reply to it. I can direct message the guy. Other ac other uh, actions there. I can uh, unfollow. Well, I don't know why I'd want to do that. Block, reply all. Lots of stuff here. Translate. Um, get. I can delete it. Uh, you know, as far as from my timeline. Um, block and report for spam, everything is doable from here. Uh, and then obviously the, the retweet and all those little options, um, reply, direct message, as I said. Uh, that'll stay up there if you use it, click the X, it's gone. So we won't go through the settings. If you have any questions in settings, leave me a comment, I'll look through it and get back to you. So uh, I think that's about everything up here, actually. Uh, you can change your location, which is cool. You can geotag it where you are. I don't use that. Um, you can attach photos and or video here and then close the thing all together that button. So if I were to click on a tweet, let's click on mine here, then down on the bottom I have some options. I can show what's popular in the column. Uh, some of these aren't specific to the tweet, to the tweet as far as views. Uh, filter this column, somewhat useful. Um, mark all as seen if you've been away and they're all up here and that's annoying then just mark them as seen. Uh, clear scene updates, clear them all if you want to start fresh and then move the column to the right. This is kind of like a YouTube uh, module approach. Just click the arrows to move them around. Um, final thoughts on TweetDeck. It's easy. It's free. It's not a big application. It's quick. It's easy to use. Does it look good? I don't really think that it does and that's usually something that's important for me. I'd like it to look nice. I'm on a Mac. That's half the thing of owning a Mac. But I don't really care. It's so easy to use, so functional. Um, doesn't use very many resources. And it doesn't look bad, you know, whatever. Black, gray, and light gray, so it works. I'm happy with it. Those are my thoughts on Tweet, tweet Deck. Can't talk. Uh, thanks for watching the video. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Be sure to check out Joe the Techie. His name is, uh, channel name is Joe the Techie. We, as in the, we, PSP. Again, that link's down below. And then our website, you guys know, tech, or tech, yeah, that's it. Techinform.us. 
Um, tomorrow night we'll be live 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on Ustream.tv slash user slash tech inform us. So uh, I'll see you guys there or in uh, it'll be Tuesday's video. Bye.